Holler if you hear me, and welcome to this special video that is the preview for this grand weekend where I will be a vendor in the artist alley of the Great Lakes Comic Con this year. Yes, it's an annual Comic Con that always happens on the last weekend of February. I've been going here for as long as I've been living in the city of Detroit, and uh, most of the time I have been actually a vendor as well. And this year will be no different. And now really what's going on here is a preview of what will be coming with me. Now, when I do my work, you see in my live streams, I always do the, my work in pen and ink, the larger pen and ink comic book standard page size of 11 by 17 inches. But I also go and do work 11 by 14 that's in color. Everyone you see me do on a stream, there's a corresponding color version of it I do ahead of time. And if you want a little sample or a little taste of what will be coming with me to this convention tomorrow and Saturday, we'll show you a little bit of it right here. And they, of course, come in the various categories I work in. We have DC characters you see right here. Yes, starting with a Joker, nice standard Joker. Then we move on to other versions of the Joker. And, of course, you can never go wrong without Harley Quinn. Beyond that, we have... Orion and Darkseid, and next you'll see more throughout the whole gamut of DC characters. You see Supergirl and you see Poison Ivy. The major DC characters that people know out of movies or the ones that the regulars that go to these conventions will be familiar with because knowing the crowd and knowing the crowd in there, it's going to be if more often than not a lot of normies who know, you know, the movies or cartoon shows and their understanding of, you know, the comic books might be a little more lacking or they might be just into it. And you have to find the right balance between that and also the people that really know the stuff uh, all the time and have everything memorized. So that's why everything you hear you see is DC related in this book. Yes, from including Shazam, including Booster Gold, including even Impulse, Kid Flash, The Flash, Superman and Batman. You get the gist of it right in there, and to go on further and show you completely the book would then become redundant. So that's why that is nothing there. And next we've got my Marvel characters I'll be showing you all in here, starting with Emma Frost, as you see. Yes, there's Emma Frost, my most recent version of the character, along with Dazzler and Storm. Gonna go right with Marvel, start with the X-Men. You know, people remember the movies, the cartoon. Howard the Duck, they might have heard of him. Guardians of the Galaxy with Gamora, yes. The Scarlet Witch has been a popular one for me recently. And Rogue, you can never go wrong with her, along with uh, Magneto in Spider-Woman. Next, we've got Mystique in her classic costume and the Human Torch over here. Yes, this gentleman behind the Essex Corp, Mr. Sinister, he's a newer piece. And we've got the Punisher, Thanos, and the Dread Dormammu along with Elektra and the classic version of Jean Grey, the original Mason Blue costumes they were wearing, with Iron Man and Miss Marvel up here. We also have the Hulk. This is the version of the Hulk in color that accidentally I made look like Tom Cruise. Look that Hulk in the face and tell me, it can't just be me that looks at that Hulk and thinks Tom Cruise. And here you have Black Widow. Let's get to the center of the book. Yes, there's uh, the Invisible Woman and Doctor Doom. Also, Stan Lee himself and the Black Panther. We've got Deadpool and Wolverine in here. But, right, our dead center is Black Panther and Stan Lee. Because with the center of the book, that's usually the one that I leave my pieces open at. So the ones that are going to be really eye-catching, you should always have your best pieces in the middle of a portfolio like that. Or the first one or the last one. Then lure people in that way. And now the next one we'll be showing is uh, the pop culture related ones I'll be bringing in with me, starting with Daenerys. Yes, Khaleesi, the mother of dragons from Game of Thrones. This is more of a grab bag where we've got Michael Myers and I got her from Avatar. Next, uh, Star Wars related things, considering that there are multiple Star Wars comic book artists coming to the show. Might as well have some of Luke Skywalker and Miranda there from Mass Effect. Chewbacca. Got Scarlet there from G.I. Joe. Next is Duke Nukem and a werewolf. Jason Voorhees and Krampus. 
All right, we've got the Fausta, and this is a spot that is yet to be filled. I will be putting it in later. Actually, this is a preview. This spot will be filled in for what I'm going to be drawing tonight. What I'm going to be drawing on tonight's live stream, the corresponding color version, is going to be in this slot. So that's why this that one is empty. Now we go in with... Yes, the next few slots are with wrestlers like Ultimate Warrior, Stone Cold Steve Austin. You would have seen me on a stream recently rendering these. Macho Man and Big Van Vader. Brett the Hitman Heart. Andre the Giant. Then it's back to Star Wars stuff with 3PO and R2 with Jabba the Hutt. Kang the Conqueror. No, no, Cole the Conqueror. Sorry about that. Cole the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is a completely misused villain in the most recent Ant-Man movie. And we've got Jessica Rabbit right there. Move this in place. Next, we've got, all right, Jungle Girl there, Sheena, and Usagi Ojimbo. Who is going to be next? We've got Sam from Trick or Treat and the Tyrant from Resident Evil. Mr. Birkin, Stage 2, from Resident Evil 2, and a Licker that also was introduced in RE2. Then there's the Violator and Slimer. Spawn, this old guy from Masters of the Universe. Next, we've got Miss Lola Bunny. Yes, in her, in a pose, I intentionally drew Lola Bunny to recreate one of the many cover appearances that Pamela Anderson made for Playboy. There's Jade from Mortal Kombat. And we got a couple more. Yes, Little Miss Cara Dune and Slave Leia there. Sonya Blade, and you know, there is a Scarlet from the, uh, I believe, yes, yes, G.I. Joe, that's another Scarlet. Now that's a Jungle Girl right there, and Lady Death, you see her in her glory. We're also going to have the Predator and the Toxic Avenger, alongside Darth Vader and Earthworm Jim. One, we got Hellboy. And Boba Fett. And last but not least is the new version of Pinhead from Hellraiser. Now those are a sample of the color ones I'm going to be bringing. I also have anime-related artwork available as well. That'll be in the color form coming with me. But also, since you've been feeling it, you've been seeing the past few months of my streams, I've been preparing for this. So I decided to show you a little bit of what I've been doing artistically in the streams. You've been seeing, yes... Well, that one, you're not, that's an older one, but yes, Poison Ivy, Starfire. But now here you're more familiar with more recently, my Hal Jordan, my Green Lantern core characters, Guy Gardner and Hal Jordan, as well as Jon Stewart and Kyle Rayner. The major Green Lantern characters, including Sinestro and Black Hand, as well as Atrocitus on the corresponding page right there. Atrocitus next to Wonder Woman. And Dark Side and the Kid Flash. There's your Dark Side. Sorry for the glare from the light, but there it is. And Kid Flash with the exposed hair. Next we've got Swamp Thing over there and the Flash over here. Yes, get it out to get both of them in place. And now we got the original Silk Spectre from Watchmen and the main Silk Spectre from Watchmen. We got ourselves a more recent Catwoman. And by recent, I mean how she looks in the comics. And a more comic book accurate version of Harley Quinn, recreating a Frank Cho cover. People love Zatanna. And the Carrie Kelly Robin. We've got Joker's multiple versions of Joker, the classic animated series version, and a more older 70s style comic book version of him, with Batman and Catwoman in the center of the book. Of course, Superman is also going to be there because with this convention, you've got to go and make sure with the biggest possible audience there that you're going to have what they want. Because in this world, in that business, you give the people what they want, or at the very least, if you don't have it immediately with you, then that's when commissions are available. And you also can recommend the channel because don't forget, I will be streaming from the floor of the show. I will be doing a 6 p.m. stream uh, tomorrow, a 6 p.m. edition of Art Uncensored, where I will be 
from the floor of the convention. Yes, yes, yes. And then starting on tomorrow, uh, starting Saturday, I will be having another stream at noon. Yes. So I will be having two special editions of Art and Censored from the floor of the Great Lakes Comic Con. That'll be at 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow and noon. That will be noon in the tomorrow afternoon, uh, Saturday afternoon, for all of you to go and see. There will subsequently be a, uh, there will be a short, and I may even do a members only video for tomorrow, but yes, I do promise there will be a short tomorrow. And for Saturday, there also will be a corresponding video afterwards for that. And remember, I also now have memberships, and that does include doing members only videos and members only community posts. So click on that little link down there, the first link in the description below, if you want to become a member and see the new members only video I just uploaded today, which also will make you now hard to go and see. This Sunday, I'll be having my first ever members only live stream. When time it will start is still up for debate. You'll have to come to tonight's stream if you want to go and make your vote in on when will be the time for my very first members only live stream. So thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Check to see if you're still subscribed. And remember the, the best but after if you're a member and all that, the best after that, the best way to support my work is shopping in my Square store. The second link in the description below where my pen and ink art is 25, my color art is 30, my sketchbooks are 25, my posters are 200, and my trading cards are 10. You can commission a color piece for 60, a pen and ink piece for 50, or a trading card for 20. And whatever you buy in the store just comes with a flat $5 shipping and handling fee. One item, several items, doesn't matter. Or you can donate as well, because when you donate to my Square store, I get access to that money directly, immediately. It all goes to me. And also remember, if you live outside of the USA, my store accepts any donations from any denomination. But if you live outside the USA, you have to remember, if you want to buy my work and commission me, you'd have to go and make that via a donation, since my store can't receive orders from foreign addresses. Just add up what you want in US dollars and include another 25 US for the international shipping fee. And also, I've got a Streamlabs link below, so until then, hope to see you at the show. Remember, feline, slam it, lick it, suck it, and see you, Space Cowboy.